that become a surface for circulation. There is no thing anymore that you may uh, conceive as a square. There is only a parking plot for tourist buses here. Okay. Again, uh, so this is, I think, uh, no, uh, this is the from the 1960s, and it shows us the new situation. So what has happened exactly? The following has happened. <coughs> this is now a uh, plan of the original situation. We see the square has a very similar, uh, say, very uh, well conceivable physical uh, borders. You have the water. Uh, even the mosque has some annexes that uh, that line up with the theaters again, wall, and so uh, you see this very clearly uh, shaped square. If you look at the very same spot in 1930s planning. So this is now a very uh, iconic drawing, uh, which is used very often to uh, show uh, Henri Prost planning, for instance. So Henri Prost was between 1936 and 51, uh, the chef planner of Istanbul, who did for Inunu and with the Kurdar the planning of Istanbul. So uh, of his new uh, proposal, building city around three uh, parks, park number one in the Nikos Valley in the Central Peninsula, a uh, park uh, part archaeologic, uh, like the former Romanum, uh, so in the Ethiopia of the peninsula. Uh, these were not realized, but uh, the, the park uh, number two in the Machka Valley was realized. So all the, let's say, uh, financial means were poured to realize this. But if you look at this plan, you see now Domobacha Palace as an isolated building. It is not anymore part of something. Here it is clearly part of this whole urban setup. But here it is now indeed isolated. Uh, only the I'm not sure what you said. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the palace, the clock tower and the mosque are decontextualized. They are not anymore part of a whole urban like, uh, purpose, but they are uh, they are made to single isolated touristic objects. You can just stand in front of them, you can make your selfies today and so on, and they're just objects, useful objects, but they do not belong anymore to an urban context. Okay? So, um, indeed, uh, the uh, planning in the uh, 1930s have uh, created a new center for Istanbul. So it, is, it comprises of the valley uh, of Machka and its uh, ideological representational space at Taksim Hill, which, had, which would, uh, would be opened up as Taksim Square. And this <coughs> uh, new uh, space of ideological representation would not be, like in 19th century, one of four different central spaces. So in 19th century, we had almost equally uh, <coughs> an almost equal distribution of different centers and uh, functions. The administrative, uh, administrative center, central business district, the center for real estate development access, and the ideological representation. They were all kind of uh, spaces uh, which can be maybe take apart when we do an analysis like I did, but indeed they all constituted a larger uh, whole thing. And, and let's say uh, they were more or less balanced. But now in 1930s city, uh, which is built in the 1940s and, uh, and uh, uh, we will have an absolute supremacy of the ideological representation. And at a time where we don't have anymore any economic activity in, in town, where the economic uh, say, importance totally shrinks, uh, marginalizes, so you will have an over-representation over of the ideological and of its space. And what is this space now for? What does this space stand for? So, uh, this is now the planning of Henri Prost. He proposes a park in, in the uh, Machka Valley that uh, comprises of buildings for education and sports. And this goes along with the Republican ideal of creating the new man. So the new man is indeed an ideal to many other uh, countries as well at that time just go to Germany, Italy, Russia, Spain, whatever. So all uh, states 
2006 of that period are quite well concerned with this new man. And I think this uh, idea has also a great expectations to planning and architecture. Uh, just think of something like a, like a, a tailorist production uh, belt. Put the old man into this, uh, into this belt and uh, get the old man go through all these educational and um, uh, sports facilities and at the end of this belt he comes out as the new man. Okay? And this is indeed now the Republican understanding of the modern. It's a national modern, first of all, and it deals now with the changing of the human. What do we have here? For instance, we have uh, that uh, several buildings, like these three buildings of the, um, uh, the former barracks buildings, are transformed into technical university, and nothing else. It is a technical university. We have now, or another barrack is converted into a museum, into a museum. So we create a, uh, a hall here for uh, sports and exhibitions, an open-air theater. A radio house is very important, of course. Radio is the ideological practice of the state is broadcasting. Just think also of radio base was here. But uh, <clears throat> later on, the program will, uh, will go on. They would build a city theater, uh, a municipal theater, a, a municipal concert hall, a municipal uh, library. And so, on. so all this uh, building program would be continued until late 1960s. Okay, just give another sketch. And you see it's information and it's going still. You see this; it looks very classical. Okay, it is almost like uh, the Acropolis of the Greek polis. Okay, where all uh, these uh, uh, buildings which do represent the idea of the public are uh, put. As a uh, as a crown of the city, okay? it's very classicist from in its own uh, architectural conception as well, and so it is the public space where you put the uh, most attention. Indeed, several buildings like uh, this um, uh, Sporne Sagisari, the sports exhibition hall, the open air theater, radio uh, building, and the um, this, uh, this um, the civic club. Uh, are realized during the uh, war years. And they also began with uh, the state in construction, they would not finish it. And so some of the parts, like the library, uh, con uh, concert hall, and the theater, are finished in the years after the war. Okay. So this is the club. And at the same time, this whole uh, area is surrounded uh, with new exemplary uh, living quarters for the new elites of the Republic. So it starts with Talimhane area, and the Talimhane architecture is exported to some older areas like Yumushu, Jihangir, and particularly Machka Nishantashe uh, area. You can read this very well by uh, Orhan Pamuk, uh, how this transformation uh, takes place. Okay. So uh, indeed, again, we have here the idea uh, that the Bauhaus, the new international style, does represent uh, the new republic because it is again a harsh new style. You want to break uh, with the uh, with the past. Again, here uh, some renders or drawings from the uh, Elmada uh, part. Okay. And the Taksim uh, Hill is converted now into the most symbolic focal spot, uh, spot of the whole thing. So uh, that Taksim Hill was occupied indeed by the barracks, uh, the stables of the barracks, and some water uh, works, and there was also this big empty space which was uh, the uh, exercise space for the military. Like this, I just get through. Indeed, the or there was some original Taksim Square, a very small thing just in front of the uh, Maksam, the water building, look like this. And then into that very small uh, square they would place the 1928, they had already placed the uh, Republican monument, and in order to create a rotunda around the monument, they had to cut a corner of the stables first, like this, and so only for a brief period between 1930, 1928 and 30, for just 10 years, Taksim Square just comprises of this rotunda. Just for 10 years it is a uh, rotunda square, but then uh, comes the planning of, of Ari Pros, so Ari Pros indeed found the rotunda, and the barracks, and well, he found that uh, the uh, 
former exercise area here, yeah, the former exercise area, was already being developed. Okay. So uh, here you can see uh, Talib Hani in formation throughout the 30s. So his planning uh, now comprises of a new square for the opera. Opera is important because it stages the, the national mythology. When you the uh, let's say uh, uh, <coughs> um, so when you get rid of the religion in, 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 in public space, you need something a new uh, a new ritual, a new national ritual. And opera is indeed in the 30s context. Just think of uh, Wagner's Germany. So for Germany with uh, just a new reception of Wagner in the 30s. So it's indeed the way to conceptualize the national mythology. Therefore, indeed, the opera house is a, a temple uh, to the nation in that sense. So we will have in a second stage the, the evolution of the barracks as well. Indeed, he had conceived the Taksim Square as a monumental square with new buildings for the uh, uh, Republican People's Party and other uh, organizations attached to it as a big monumental square. It was not realized like that. The money was lacking. And so on. So it was just realized with the inner monuments pedestal. The horse was never put on, on top of it. You know, 1983, uh, everyone has just placed uh, that, uh, <coughs> that pedestal to much in front of uh, Inner's house. Again, in a very symbolic act. Okay, so G Gezi Park indeed is nothing but now the connecting, uh, let's say, uh, walkway between the symbolic Paxim Square and the city forum because in the forum we have all these activities that makes you to a new man but then if you're the new man then you go to Paxim Square and adore the Republican monument go to the opera so then you manifest yourself this is now the new piazza but this new piazza is not a piazza with, uh, uh, <coughs> with your, uh, your horse carriage but now you go to the opera and you show that you are a humble member of this new Republican society. Okay. And you exercise here now in this public space being modern. It's very important. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so this story, <clears throat> what does this mean? In many other cities, in, the, in all cities where we have the statute, we have in the 19th century, in the modernized 19th century, we have uh, we will see that similar spaces create. Maybe a, a good city to uh, compare some with Vienna, which is also uh, has a, more or less the same size at the end of the First World War, like 1.5 million. Also, the uh, the capital city of a multinational empire, which had created uh, throughout the 19th century. It's, space of 19th century modern, the, the Ringstrasse, for instance. And 20th century, Vienna is also important in terms of modernity. The Red Vienna with its whole public housing project and so on. It has also, it's again, a new way of understanding the modern in the 20th century, in 1920s and 30s. Go to any other city. Go to Paris, go to Amsterdam, for instance, and so on. You'll find that the 20th century understanding of the modern creates its new public space, creates its new exemplar neighborhoods. But they would usually go one step away. They would go to somewhere else and build it there. And so the 19th century program of the moder uh, modernity is still visible, unless the war has destroyed it, like in the case of Berlin, it's, uh, it's created a big patchwork. But in uh, most cities, you will find uh, unless there's a war destruction, that uh, the 19th century space of the uh, 19th century understanding of modernity is there. And the 20th century space is created somewhere next to it and tries to cope with it, tries to relate to it, somehow it negates it, but still it is somewhere else. So, in, in, so if you just go to the Istanbul case, you may think of, let's say, that this whole uh, Forum Istanbul program, building program, which looks like Kyrgyz, now this is a Republican Kyrgyz, this complex, could be built, let's say, just in an outer ring. It might be built in Shishnemej Deeper area, for instance. It might be built, maybe, into the historical peninsula, into Likos Valley. 
where uh, Prost was conceiving his uh, part number one. Or just outside the walls, maybe, in the top couple, you don't have the area, just outside the walls. Or another good option might be going to the Asian side, between Kadifa and Yuskudar in this area, behind Haidar Pasha Harem area, is a big vast land, where already in the 19th century they had begun with interesting uh, uh, building program of the 19th century, the barracks, uh, railway station, uh, medical schools, and so on. So these would have, uh, these all would have uh, options. They did not take of any of these options. Uh, they did not take advantage of any of these options. But demolished the space of modernization of the 19th century and made it unreadable, decontextualized, and placed on top of it a new modern career. So what does this mean? My answer is, I will use a, uh, a very Islamic term to that, shirk. Which means, uh, so you would, you would not uh, put a god next to god. Here the god is simply the, the term modernity. So the Republic claims a, uh, a very monopolistic, a very jealously monopolistic uh, claim to the term modernity. It owns, it possesses modernity. And it is the only God, the modernity of the Republic. So just per definition, the Ottoman can only be medieval. So anything before 1920 cannot be modern at all. So the way to prove it, you just need to, well, uh, make, get rid of any traces of an Ottoman attempt to be modern. Indeed, I mean, if you just look at this plan I showed you, uh, the 19th century plan, it is something you might have seen in any other city as well. <coughs> it is, in that sense, very typical of its type, guys. It, is, uh, it uh, could exist in any other city as well. So it is, in that sense, not medieval at all. But from this Republican perspective, it is, it has to be, per definition, medieval, non-modern. Because the modernity starts with 1920s. So in that sense, it is, you just get a And uh, this is, I think, uh, the very point where I do link with the term spatial site. Okay. Okay. So I'm finishing, indeed. Not, not much more to say. Uh, to me, it is very obvious that what is now being attempted in a very revanchist manner, uh, uh, Erdogan's new project of a new Taksim, is uh, a, a strongly special societal project. I, have, I will not talk about it. I have written uh, extensively about it. You can read it in uh, Yuri Kim's uh, February 2013 issue. I've written extensively uh, about it, in which way we have to understand and why I did not use the uh, term spatial side there, but in which way it is, uh, I use the coup d'etat, uh, the term coup d'etat there, and so on. It starts with the European capital of culture and so on, but at least I will, uh, it has an element of this 19, uh, 1980 uh, planning process for Taksim, the, uh, the competition won by Vedat Tobakai, the later Ankara, uh, social democratic uh, mayor of Ankara's uh, major uh, elements are fused into it. But uh, just to name one special side of thing, is maybe uh, the space has acquired since 1970s a, a strong attachment uh, with the uh, upgrade social movements. And so, you know, uh, after uh, 1978, uh, bloody uh, May 1st, for 20, 20 years, it was not uh, accessible. And so on. It was only reclaimed by the uh, Occupy Gezi uh, movement. But uh, say the, the way the, uh, the project is realized is very clearly uh, nothing but a physical obstacle against that you might march on the Taksim Square. This is a, 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 a picture I shot uh, from a roof uh, in El Mada. Uh, this is the Beshash football uh, fan club, uh, 20,000 people marched onto Taksim Square during the occupied Gezi, and you see the new tunnels are nothing but a uh, physical obstacle. And indeed, they, they create a very big 
say, issue of uh, say security. Mm -hmm. So anytime from now on, they can always say, we will not allow any big political demonstration on Taksim Square because you are in danger. Because we have now this, uh, the car tunnel, and so now we have a new situation. And if there's a panic, people uh, might get squeezed like it happened in 1978. <coughs> it will happen the same, uh, same thing. So therefore, just by the very properties of the physical shape of the new Taksim Square, which came as a result of this uh, very simple technical solution for the car, now, uh, so you can't allow it anymore. So for uh, throughout the 80s and 90s, uh, so the state has inter uh, intervened in Taksim Square with police barricades, tear bombs, and this and that. Now the, it is solved in a very technical way through an, uh, let's say, to an um, architectural intervention. Okay. So it has been naturalized this way. Because we are driving cars in the city. So if you can't drive a uh, car at the same time as celebrate uh, the May Day on Taxi Square, they contradict just by the very, let's say, natural situation. So we can, instead of this, uh, can offer you uh, this one. Again, change in topography severely. Okay, we have a new map of Istanbul. about the fact that a, when you get rid of religion out of public space, you have to replace it with something. And opera was introduced, for example, in that context. And, uh, but also I realized you didn't talk about sports, aside from the uh, youth club or the sports club that was built. There are two stadiums which were central to the photographs you showed, the images you showed. Can you uh, expand on was there ever a struggle to put a public sports venue in the area you are talking about? And how do you, how do you manage uh, understanding the public stadiums? There were two of them. Uh, Taksim Kışlası was also used as a sports venue. And then the Alisamia. Indeed, they exchange spaces. I mean, that's very interesting because uh, <laughs> if you look at uh, um, <coughs> the, uh, the Taksim, uh, all these barracks, uh, were indeed built around 1800. And their mission was uh, to create this new army uh, under Selim III and later Mahmoud II. And uh, Mahmoud II was kind of uh, his own uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. He attacked with this new army the ancien regime of the Ottoman Empire and indeed ended up the, uh, the old uh, ancien regime. And then the barracks were not necessarily uh, were used militarily, so they were uh, dysfunctionalized throughout the 19th century. So th that's why, for instance, most of the, uh, say, uh, exercise space of these barracks were uh, used to uh, develop the new town of Istanbul. All this area of Shishli, Osman Bey, and so on are indeed former military exercise grounds. And so those barracks were, became dysfunctional, uh, some of them decayed as well. So the Tashkishla, for instance, the Taksim Barracks, and, and so they were privatized, they were reused. So they, indeed, uh, the Taksim Barracks were already in the 19th century used as a social club. So uh, we, we would use, I can show you indeed from a 